I know we said we wouldn't get political on this show, but last night our country was faced with a huge decision. Hannah choosing Jed over Tyler. <laughs> the Bachelorette finale had tons of drama. Turns out the guy who uh, brought his acoustic guitar to parties was kind of a douche. <laughs> <laughs> who would have thunk? Uh, Kayla, you watched The Bachelorette. Oh, it was so uh, hard. When he sang his proposal to her, oh. I just... <laughs> It was, it was brutal. It was rough. It was so obvious who the right choice was, too. Yeah, I, I, that guy was a stud. Oh, Tyler? No, it was oh, the yeah. pilot guy before that was the we right choice. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was nice, too. Yeah. He was the last one, the guy that lives over here. He's lovely. Yeah. He's lovely. But then he had sex with Hannah four times in the windmill, and he didn't f*** her right. That's what yeah, happened. I saw. Well, I got an insider who's going to help us out here, uh, host of the Bachelor franchise, Chris Harrison. What? Chris is calling in. Chris! Hey, Chris. Oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? He's just saying now it's time for the final rose. He's like <laughs> one of those dolls you pull a string on. Hey! All right, good to see you, bud. Say hi to the guys. I love it. Chris, crazy night. <laughs> Uh, I have a quick question. Everyone wants to corner you with questions. We have so many questions. Do you, uh, do you work on the Bachelor Island now, or do you, is that, that part over? Uh, bachelor, it's, well, Mexico's not an island. It's... Okay. <laughs> it's, I think I you're wrong. Think there you're is wrong. Water it's, there it's, is water. it's paradise. Agree to disagree. Way. Yeah, it's Bachelor in Paradise. Yes, I'm sorry. That starts, so we're done with that. That starts next Monday. Can't wait. Okay. Yeah. I have a real okay. question. Yes. What is the condom budget on the show? <laughs> That's, that's a big... That, that and the STD test, easily the biggest that's expense. Yeah. <laughs> easily the biggest I expense. Figured, How does it feel to, to be on the most dramatic episode of Lights Out with David Spade ever yeah. in the history of Lights Out? Good. Ever! I feel like the tables have been turned. <laughs> Jim, do they have bachelors in Australia? <laughs> they do. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of secrets were revealed last night during the finale, but there was one secret we didn't reveal. Isn't yep. that right, Chris? Yeah, now that the season is finally over, I can reveal that Spade and I, well, we aren't friends, but we are co-workers. <laughs> yes, we're, and we're also, we're also friends. No, no, we're, we're not friends. <laughs> but we did hire David Spade as a consultant to give the drama a little extra flair. So Spade has been in the ear of all of our contestants, feeding them lines and orchestrating the whole season. So take a look. Okay, ready? Definitely want to just like talk to you about like from the Scotland night, all those. All right, you got her in there. Secrets and the good things. Just don't happen. mention her rosacea, <laughs> even though it's very obvious. Very special girl. You have to know that I'm actually crazy. Don't call her crazy. I'm okay no. with crazy. I like crazy. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Kiss her. Kiss her. All right, where are your hands? You know what to do, all right? You can't get pregnant in a hot tub, am I right? Let's go to commercial. Latvian guy, make up a fake Latvian name. My name's Guns. Hey, Derek. Too fake. This guy's bombing. Are these guys from the Groundlings or Second City? UCB. Oh boy, there's a third one. All right, Hannah, easy line here. Just say when in Rome. When in Latvia, you no. do it the Latvia way. When in way. Rome, ding dong. Did this girl go to school? All right, here we go, guys. One, Don't get scared. Two, You're gonna jump three. out for real. <laughs> Don't get weird if his balls hit your face. It's normal. All right, there you go. Quick, who's got a horrible angle? Go with the worst angle, that one. Hannah seemed to appreciate what I had to say. So that's all I care about. Dude. You disgust me. Luke, Luke, Luke. Luke, get up and punch him in his face. Go over and punch him in his face and do not be a pussy about this. I am never, and I'm not ever going go. to reach for anything. I've been nothing but truthful with bye, Hannah. Bye, and bye. you are not gonna mess it up. You know what this is right here? This is a pile of baloney. Look at that. What did he just do? Is that baloney? It's salami, actually. So his dumb joke doesn't even make sense? Get Luke up here. Exactly Let's kick this guy off the island. Can we do that? It's a house. It's always been a house. This isn't an island? Oh, is that the other one? <laughs> this place. Love is art. Didn't she tell us she could draw in the meeting? 
I don't care what you do, Hannah, just make it racist. <laughs> oh, pull back. He seems okay with it. Racism takes a backseat to push. <laughs> Look like you just found out what steroids do to your balls. Remember that feeling? Remember when you looked down and saw those little BBs? Yes, yes, yes. Run with that. Nothing else. Hannah, nothing. Hold it, hold it. Hold it like a soap opera. Keep holding. It feels too long. Keep holding. And we're out. Go to the Applebee's commercial. Anna? I can't do this. Get it together. Take your Zanny bar. Can you stop the car? No, you can't stop the car. Don't go off script. We got Jason Bourne here going rogue. All right, you said you couldn't walk, remember? You got ramrod in the windmill. You made a big thing out of it. You seem like you're walking just fine. Oh, you're down. Okay, you weren't bluffing. We're going to get you a bag of peas to put on your cooch. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right, that's a wrap, everybody. Let's go. Okay episode, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hilarious. Uh, oh, my God. I actually like that show. <laughs>